Formula One cars are always racing on the edge of what's possible. Drivers and engineers have to work together to try and build a car that's both high performance and easy to handle. To do this, they have to find the ideal mixture of grip, downforce, drag, and power. But because each team comes up with their own ideas, each car has its own strengths and weaknesses, and some will be more suited to certain tracks. It could perform well through the low speed corners, but suffer through the medium speed ones, or it could struggle in the fastest turns, but power through on the straights. On Formula One's TV coverage, the F1 Insights Car Performance Scores graphic analyzes this performance to give the car a score between zero and 10, and a rank to show how it compares to others. A five shows that performance is average, with the perfect 10 showing that it should be unbeatable in those parts of the track. But it's not just about performance, because when a driver has pushed their car right up to the edge, they need to stay balanced on it, or risk a race-ending slide. A car's handling determines whether it is more likely to understeer, when the front tyres lose grip and the car can't turn fast enough, or oversteer, when the rear tyres lose grip and swing out behind the car. On the car performance scores graphic, a car's handling is shown on a scale bar with minus 10 showing maximum understeer, plus 10 showing maximum oversteer, and zero showing that the car is perfectly balanced. Both performance and handling scores are calculated using thousands of data points that are streamed every second from every car, including the car's speed, track position, timing, g-force, steering angle, your rate, circuit data, and track status. Our algorithm processes and compares these to both historical data and other cars on track, and produces a score at the end of every lap. Using these scores for performance and handling, we can see which cars can power away on the straight, and which can speed through the corners. Which drivers prefer a car that understeers, and which prefer a car that oversteers? Which teammate has the edge on the other? Which cars should be easier to drive, and which could be a handful? And which cars could shine or struggle at each track? F1 Insights, powered by AWS.